Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 103 of the Healthy Skin Show. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about a skin condition called hydrodenitis saporativa. I know, it kind of sounds like this mythical creature that's going to burst out of a bog and attack you, but it's not. It's a skin condition that I've personally had to deal with. What I'd like to do to kick this off is share a story with you about how I came to discover that I had HS. I like to just call it HS because hydrodenitis saporativa is quite a mouthful. And what I learned on my journey. Flashback to 2010. It's two weeks before my wedding and in a state of complete chaos. (laughs) And I woke up one morning with an armpit that was completely swollen. It felt incredibly inflamed, hot, and painful to the touch. And what was the scariest part of all was that I had this large, large lump. And it's in my armpit. So the first thing that I think is, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to get married in two weeks. And now what? Do I have like breast cancer or something? I'm freaking out. My dad's a doctor. He's like, no, go to the doctors. I don't think it's that, but let them check. Went to a dermatologist. And thankfully, I did not have any sort of cancerous lesion. <laughs> Thank God. But it did turn out to be hydrodenitis saporativa. And I was put on a round of Keflex, which is an antibiotic, in order to address the issue. I honestly didn't give it another thought because it went away. But five years later, it came back with a vengeance. It started out coming back about every other month. And then it was every month. And then every three weeks. I started to Google online what hydrodenitis saporativa really was. I'll be honest with you, I was incredibly horrified by the photos that I saw and realizing that as this condition progresses, it becomes incredibly more serious and at times can require surgery. And it forms these tunnels under the skin that may need to be surgically removed. I was so scared. Plus, on top of it, I was taking antibiotics so often. My sister, who is an herbalist and an acupuncturist, had created a formula for me That was helpful to some degree, but nothing really helped. And to be honest with you, doctors still don't know what's actually driving this particular type of condition. We know that inflammation plays a role in this, and I found some research to indicate that it's actually considered a form of auto-inflammation. However, the real reason why is still a mystery. And these lumps that form can be incredibly painful. They can break open can have these tunnels that form under the skin, and it affects the areas a lot of times where skin rubs together. The Mayo Clinic cites areas such as the armpits, groin, buttocks, and breast. But I will also say this, I know someone who actually developed it on their face. More about that in a moment. In order to maintain your skin with this particular condition, it can be really frustrating. You can't wear anything tight that would rub. You need to let everything kind of air out. A lot of times you have to use special salves and creams. A lot of times they're either anti-inflammatory or antibiotic in nature. And sometimes medications are used. As I said, I used an antibiotic called Keflex. That was what was prescribed to me. But your doctor may also offer you corticosteroids, other anti-inflammatory drugs, antibiotics, and there's a bunch of different ones that can be used, things like Humira, for example, and sometimes doctors will even suggest things like birth control pills. On the flip side, people will try basically anything to stave off a flare of HS, and I don't blame them. It is incredibly painful. When my flare would start, I would initially feel like I was being stabbed repeatedly inside with little needles. It was awful, absolutely awful. Some people have tried doing autoimmune paleo protocol and an anti-inflammatory diet in hopes that that will also reduce inflammation. In some people, it helps. I would say regardless, if you're listening to this and you have not considered anything outside of what the dermatologist has suggested to you, cleaning up your diet and managing your stress better are two excellent ways to help reduce internal inflammation. 
Nothing is a guaranteed fix, nor is it a quick fix, but it is important, especially if your particular condition begins to progress. My HS got to a point where it was about at a moderate level. Some people with severe levels, as I said, may require surgery. And this is a condition that I would highly recommend you work with a doctor on. There's not a whole lot that I'm aware of, and of all the things that I tried, that are more alternative, that really work. But there was one tip that changed everything for me because I don't actually get HS anymore. It wasn't a quick fix. It was expensive, but it was actually the one thing that helped me. So it may be a good option to talk to your doctor about. And I'm so grateful for this one chance encounter that I had with that person that I mentioned who had developed it on their face. So flash forward a number of months of taking antibiotics and being incredibly frustrated, and I was sitting at a table in Boulder, Colorado with a group of colleagues, happening to mention that I was taking antibiotics for a particular skin condition that was not very well known and sounded like a monster. It just so happened that the person sitting next to me had had the same exact condition. She'd had it on her face and it was getting really bad. One of her doctors asked her if she'd be willing to try laser hair removal. And she, at that point, was willing to do basically anything to get it to stop. And lo and behold, that was what got her HS to stop flaring. At that point, I had been through so much and I was so frustrated and I was so afraid of what was happening that I was willing to do basically anything. Even to go through an expensive multiple laser treatment procedure That ultimately felt like somebody was snapping rubber bands repeatedly into my armpits. It was not fun. It was incredibly painful. But you know what? It ended up being worth it. With each monthly treatment, the flares got fewer and less intense. And eventually, they completely stopped. Now, I sometimes get that pinprick feeling, but it'll go away after a couple of minutes without any flares. Now, I am not suggesting that this is a fix for every single person who has HS, but had that one person not shared with me what worked for her, I would probably still be suffering now. I would highly recommend if you not discuss the option with your dermatologist to do so. It may be worthwhile to have the discussion and see if it's a good fit for you because it changed my life. HS is a nightmare. If you know somebody who's dealing with it, Please give them some serious love and support, especially when they're going through a flare. It can be incredibly debilitating and painful. You can't work out. You don't feel well. You sometimes can't sleep. It is just not fun. As I come across more research and information on this particular topic, I promise to share it. It's not going to be a regular topic of conversation on the Healthy Skin Show, but because I personally dealt with this, And because I know the power that one little piece of information that someone shared with me could drastically impact the quality of someone's life, I felt that it was necessary and important to share because that's what I always ask you guys to do, right? To share the episodes, to share the information with other people in our community, or if you happen to know someone that's going through this, share it with them. If you've got any questions, comments, or you want to share your own story living and thriving with HS, or you want to check out the references that I have for you, head on over to skinterrupt.com forward slash 103. And before we part ways for the day, I just want to remind you that I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment, head on over to your podcast platform of choice, rate, and review the podcast then hit the subscribe button. That way, the next episode lands on your mobile device without you having to do a thing. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.